your cell and here is my vote meter to record the emf of the cell mm -hmm. we can see that the emf of this cell i'm using is cell 2.5 Now, yes, thank you. Like I said earlier, that I will show you how I did uh, the circuit diagram. Now, I have my resistance box here. I have my ammeter. You know, resistance box is connected to the ammeter. The ammeter we are told to use in the echo is the range of 0 to 2 ampere. But currently, the ammeter with me currently is one that range is a dual. The one that from 0 to 3 and the one that read from 0 to 5. The one that read from 0 to 2 is not what we made correctly, but the next video I will make it available. Uh, that hand coming from that ammeter connected to my standard resistor. You can see my standard resistor here. That same hand, you know, that resistor is parallel to my voltmeter. We can see it's parallel to my voltmeter. My voltmeter also that they ask us to use is 0 to 2 volts or oh, here I have 0 to 1 and 0 to 3 the dual that is this T2 uh, the ammeter for 0 to 2 and the voltmeter for 0 to 2 in my next video I will show that but yeah I just want us to see how calculation can be done on this particular uh, topic on this uh, aspect of the physics class standard for 25 the one you want to talk about there is all about ohm slope now carry that hand from both the resistor and the both in that they all met at the negative side of my battery of my cell. You, know, you have seen that you have seen that when I was working, when I was measuring my voltmeter at the EMF of my cell, I measured uh, 2.5. I measured 2.5. I think I remember. I measured 2.5. I think I need to write that one now. That's my EMF, my E naught, my E naught. You say E naught or EMF? I measured 2.5. Uh, volts. Now, so leaving that side, leaving that side, and you can see my key. This key open and close. We open when the circuit, when the, the reading was uh, it's not taken, but when I want to take the reading, I will put it there. Uh, there. Just take notice of this one because of our, our practice, I mean, our precautions. So, without wasting time, I let the uh, reading start quickly. The first reading here said that uh, when the now so I'm going to see clearly when the resistor and the experiment is not fully now. All right, let it start. The first ohms. They say I should remove one ohms. Yes, I'm picking up from one now. So on my ammeter, I can read. Okay, okay, sorry, I can't read anything for now. It's not moving. Okay, on my ammeter, I can read 0 0.4. 0 0.4. 0 0.4, 0. And on my voltmeter, still 0 0.4. Yeah, it's still 0.4 and on this my voltmeter I can read 0 0.65 0 0.65 that's settled when the resistor is 1 ohms I have this reading because of time I don't want us to take much of time I'll please fast forward the readings and update the, re uh, the, uh, the results let me do one more before I quickly tidy up to the next thing. Alright, when it is 2 ohms, let me pick up my 2 ohms. I'm returning the 1. I want to pick up the 2. Let me pick up the 2. This is 2 ohms. On my armature, I can read. 0 0.35 and 
here on my vote meter I can read 0. Uh, 0 0.57 0.57 so making two okay let me quickly finish the rest I think I can see let me still do one more the thing is sweet yeah it's very sweet then return so we are going to after two we are going to four holes going to four holes four holes four unfortunately i don't have four here i have one two two five so i'll put two twice Unfortunately, I will pick yeah now nah, for this one I'll pick for this one I'll pick two two I'll pick two two to represent my four. I'm picking the first one. I'm picking the first second one. So what am I seeing? For my current, I'm zero zero point two eight. I'm saying two eight. Two eight and here I am seeing um, zero point five zero point five and zero point five zero here. I think I have done the first three, so let me clear rush and do the others and move to the next thing. Yes, now I have finished the experiments and the recordings. I think now we should move to the next thing without wasting our time and carry my street away. Alright, now I have my values of uh, table of values rather. I have nobody asked us to do let's say tabulate the readings. I've tabulated my readings. My what do you call it? My E dot was 2.5. My E dot was 2.5. And we are again, they say plot a graph of V on the vertical axis. That's what I want to do right now. I want to plot the graph. But before you talk about plotting of graph, please do want to watch our videos on plotting of graphs. We did like two or three videos on graph. If possible, I will still do another video right now on graph properly. If the video is not too long, but if it's long, at least your next video will be graph. Now, talking about graph, the first thing we need to know about graph is our type 2. Like I always tell you, you don't need to struggle for type 2. The title of the graph is always in the question. The graph of the graph of that is the title is graph of graph of V votes with a against or versus any other you call it against I, which is the R meter, that the type two. The next thing now what the scale. The scale. You pick up your scale. You know you have you check your lowest and the highest. My highest of the V is 0 0.65, lowest 0 0.4, so I can go with maybe I can go with 4 centimeter to represent uh, 0 0.1. Let me go with that one. Four centimeter. I can go four centimeter to represent. First, I will write clearly. I will say this. Is what I will say. I will say on. I will say on V axis. On V axis. I will put the unit there. On V. V axis. You know that's my vertical. My graph you are seeing around there, I will still do. We are still going to have class on graph for this particular question. I will take it up to the speed 0 0.00. I want space 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.50, 0 0.60, now 0 0.70. I'm okay with this graph like this. So that one I will define my two centimeter. To represent 0 0.10. Now for my vertical uh, horizontal axis, 
small is 0 0.2, high is 0 0.4, I will go by maybe 4 cm to represent 0 0.1 because I can still see that vividly. If I pick from year to year 1, 2, 3, I have enough. Since I have enough, I'm going to be on I ampere as is 2 cm. That's it, 2, 4 cm to represent uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 ampere. And that's all. That is, at the end of the day, like I told you, that I'm still going to have a pure video on graph that we are going to do graph properly and how to address graph and to draw it. Here I'm only sketching and to achieve the uh, to achieve the calculation behind this uh, experiment. So now let me continue with my illustration. If so we have our indication like that, I don't need to waste time. You can see, just to bring the summary, my my V is decreasing. My I is also decreasing. Ohm's law already working. Ohm's law states that the steady current passing through a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the, to the potential difference provided all other constants are kept constant. That is directly proportional. As I is decreasing, the V also is decreasing. Definitely, in that situation, we are going to have a perfect graph. What am I saying? No my, let's, okay, let's say I want to sketch right now. My highest value of V I'm having as this top. And my lowest value of it, I'm having somewhere here. Let's say I'm having my V, V2, my V1. My highest value of, uh, what do you call it, current, at this mass. And at the end of the day, I'll be having my tracing. I'll be having my tracing. If I have my tracing here, my tracing here, this one symbolizes V2, V1. And this one symbolizes I2. And this is my, uh, sorry, that's I2. This one will be I2 my I1. So which means that I have my slope already saying that change in V over change in I which means my slope is equal to change in V over change in I and at the end of the day what will be my unit? My unit will volt over. Don't write ohms. Don't jump. Don't write ohms. Follow the mathematics equation. Volt over ampere and that will be your unit. Leave the rest for the examiner to judge. Don't judge your answer. And at the end of the day, we're going to get what we have. If I want to use my values here, maybe I want to use what I have said here. My just to say my name, my this is my V2, this is my V1, this is my I2, this is my I1. I'll be having 0 0.65 minus 0 0.40. Please make sure you watch our video on graph. Our next video on graph. I'll put everything on graph and we're going to work it out. Uh, 0 0.65, sorry, 0 0.65 and 0 0.4 over 0 0.4.